Dark Shadows, a 1966 TV series, emerged as a groundbreaking blend of gothic drama, supernatural elements, and soap opera storytelling. Created by Dan Curtis, the show's origins lay in his desire to craft an unconventional daytime drama. Set in the eerie Collinwood mansion in Maine, the narrative revolved around the mysterious Collins family, spanning centuries and delving into supernatural forces. Iconic characters like Barnabas Collins, a vampire awakened in the 20th century, and the time-traveling witch Angelique epitomized the show's distinctive allure. The series stood out for its unique style, integrating gothic horror with romantic entanglements and time travel. This fusion of genres set it apart from traditional soap operas. The introduction of Barnabas Collins in 1967, with actor Jonathan Frid's portrayal, elevated the show's popularity, making him an instant icon. The show's relatively low-budget production was compensated by its gripping narrative, often shot in a single take. Dark Shadows left an indelible mark on popular culture. The show's popularity led to a slew of merchandise, including novels, comics, and even feature films. It demonstrated that supernatural themes could captivate daytime audiences, carving a path for later supernatural TV shows. The show's influence endured, seen in references across media including Tim Burton's 2012 film adaptation. Main content, random facts about the show. The show's success prompted a record release featuring the hit single Quentin's theme. The show's original run lasted from 1966 to 1971, amassing over 1,200 episodes. Many cast members played multiple roles due to the show's time travel elements. The experimental live format often led to on-air mistakes, which some fans found endearing. In 2004, a short-lived revival aired, continuing the saga from where the original left off. The distinct color palettes of different time periods helped viewers distinguish various eras. Despite its cult status, the show faced criticism for production limitations and occasional inconsistencies in the storyline. Dark Shadows remains a testament to the power of genre blending and innovative storytelling, captivating audiences with its gothic intrigue and supernatural twists. Its legacy lives on as a cornerstone of television history, inspiring generations of creators to explore the supernatural on screen. Arnaba's timeless love token, a haunting melody across centuries in the bewitching world of the 1966 TV series Dark Shadows, where supernatural intrigues reign supreme, an enchanting motif of enduring love emerges through an unexpected artifact. Arnaba's Collins, the brooding vampire protagonist, gifted his beloved Josette a delicate music box as a symbol of his affection. Strangely, the sentimental token reappears in later narratives, echoing their love story through the ages. Notably, this mysterious recurrence took center stage twice during the enthralling 1897 storyline. The significance of this music box lies not only in its haunting melody, but in its seamless transition through time, defying logic and enchanting audiences. The eerie charm of the show, which captivated viewers with its gothic ambience, found a new dimension in this recurring motif. The narrative's intricate interplay of past and present gains a subtle yet powerful thread with the music box enigmatic reappearance. As the series weaved its intricate web of supernatural tales, this peculiar recurrence of the music box added a layer of emotional depth, echoing the eternal yearning of Barnabas for his lost love. The allure of this motif endured, much like the show itself, which carved a unique place in television history. While the intricate details of this timeless connection remain an enigma, they serve as a testament to the creative prowess of the series' makers. The music box evocative notes linger in the minds of fans, a reminder of the show's ability to transcend temporal boundaries and etch its spellbinding narratives in the annals of television history. Innovations behind the shadows, dark shadows, budget-conscious visual wizardry, and the bewitching world of the 1966 TV series Dark Shadows, where supernatural intrigue and dramatic narratives reigned supreme. A behind-the-scenes reality often rivaled the on-screen enigma. Amidst the captivating tales of vampires, witches, and time travel, budget constraints compelled ingenious solutions that left an indelible mark on the show's legacy. As visual effects soared in cost for this groundbreaking daytime soap opera, the show's creator, Dan Curtis, adeptly steered his production ship through financial storms. An edict was issued, no more than five characters could grace a single episode. 
thus ensuring an equilibrium between grandeur and fiscal prudence. This restriction, while born of necessity, inadvertently intensified the storytelling focusing plots and amplifying character development in a way that reverberated with viewers. While the Collinwood Mansion's haunting facade set the scene, the interior narrative unfurled within the confines of a New York City studio. A testament to cinematic craft, the exterior was a tangible entity, albeit not in the foggy reaches of Maine as the series' narrative dictated. Rather, the house stood in picturesque Newport, Rhode Island, an emblem of the show's paradoxical nature, where illusion and reality danced in a delicate waltz. However, it's a singular detail that encapsulates the resourcefulness amidst limitations. Barnabas Collins' iconic black onyx ring. As portrayed by Jonathan Frid, Barnabas sported an emblematic accessory that exuded vampiric allure. Astonishingly, this symbol of the undead was procured not from esoteric sources, but from Woolworths, a humble retail emporium. To further this duality, the ring's gem wasn't an exquisite jewel, but a plastic bauble adroitly painted green and then black by the resourceful prop department. In the tapestry of television history, Dark Shadows remains a chiaroscuro masterpiece of the otherworldly. Its allure extended beyond the screen, encapsulating tales of ingenious budget management, studio sleights of hand, and a commitment to crafting captivating narratives. The show's financial constraints didn't shackle it. Rather, they led to innovative choices that carved its unique place in the annals of television enchantment. Actress Alexandra Mulk's unconventional role in Dark Shadow's introductions in the enigmatic world of the 1966 TV series Dark Shadows, where supernatural secrets and mysterious characters reign supreme. Even the show's opening narration had its own unique twists. Alexandra Molk, who portrayed Victoria Winters, lent her voice to the introductory segments in the show's early episodes. However, an unforeseen quirk in payment dynamics led to an intriguing shift in this practice. Molk's initial voiceovers, delivered in character as Victoria, set the eerie tone for the unfolding drama. Yet, as the show's focus pivoted to the captivating vampire Barnabas Collins, portrayed by Jonathan Frid, the narrative landscape transformed. Barnabas emerged as the central protagonist, rendering Victoria's character less pivotal to the story's core. Behind the scenes, a practical concern arose, paying Molk her full daily wage for voiceovers, even when her character was absent from an episode, proved financially cumbersome. The Solution Entrust the narration duties to an actor or actress present in the specific episode. This not only trimmed costs, but also ensured that the voiceover artist was directly involved in the ongoing plot. Initially, only female cast members undertook the narration responsibilities. Nevertheless, as the show evolved, both male and female actors took turns guiding viewers through the show's enigmatic beginnings. The sole criterion. The chosen narrator had to be a cast member of the current episode averting payment disputes. The show's creators aimed to maintain a seamless connection between the narrator and the episode's events. Yet, the transition led to a subtle shift in the audience's perception. The actor delivering the narration, even if Molk herself, no longer embodied the character they portrayed on screen. Instead, they became a conduit, linking viewers to the unfolding narrative. Dark Shadows continued to weave its intricate tales, with characters and plotlines interwoven in ways that defied convention. From Victoria Winter's enthralling introductions to Barnabas Collins' rise as the central figure, the show's narrative experimentation mirrored its supernatural themes. As the saga unfolded, both male and female voices guided audiences, transcending the boundaries of time and character. As we bid farewell to the intricate world of Dark Shadows, I invite you to take a moment to let the echoes of Colin Sport linger in your thoughts. Like shadows dancing across the walls, this 1966 TV series has woven a tapestry of mysteries, romance, and the supernatural that transcends time. As you reflect on the enigmatic Barnabas Collins, the bewitching Victoria Winters, and the eerie tales that unfolded within the walls of Collinwood, consider how these characters and stories have woven themselves into the fabric of your own narrative. Perhaps it's the haunting melodies of the music that still resonate in your mind. Or maybe it's the way the show transported you to a world where darkness and light coexist in a delicate balance. The allure of Dark Shadows lies not only in its gothic atmosphere, but in the way it resonates with our deepest desires and fears. It's an exploration of the human experience, wrapped in the supernatural. 
Your memories of Dark Shadows are as unique as the series itself. Whether you followed every episode with bated breath or stumbled upon it recently, there's a connection that ties you to the Collins family. It's a shared journey through time and emotions, a journey that leaves an indelible mark on the tapestry of your own life. So, as you close this chapter, don't let the echoes fade entirely. Let them linger like the memories of a cherished friend. And if you're willing, share your thoughts, your memories, and your personal connection with Dark Shadows. Let's keep the spirit of Collinsport alive by exchanging our own tales of fascination and intrigue. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the enigmatic world of Dark Shadows. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until we meet again, remember that the shadows may fade, but their stories remain etched in our hearts.